Rumor has it that every Halloween, during the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., there is a void that opens up in reality. It's said that you can take advantage of the void for a prize. You must stand in front of a mirror in a pitch black room with your gaze fixated on the mirror. If you remain in the room when the moment arrives, you will feel a chill seize your body. Place your right hand on the mirror and whisper, I accept. If done correctly, in the mirror there will now be a faint image of an infant with no flesh and pitch black eyes. He will stare directly into your soul and you will be filled with unspeakable terror. You will also hear the buzzing of flies and nervous whispering. The infant will ask you five questions about events that have occurred in your life. His voice will sound like the rubbing of sandpaper and will be devoid of all human emotion. For each question you answered incorrectly, one of your five senses will be consumed and lost to you forever. But for each question that you answered correctly, you will be able to recite the name of someone you know. That person will be found dead the next morning with their flesh removed and their eyes missing. Go to any mirror and put your hand against the glass. Don't worry, nothing will grab you. Now wait. Sometimes it takes half a day. Sometimes it takes a moment. But you'll yank your hand away when you feel it. Worms or centipedes? Who knows? All pressed in tight like there's no more room on the other side, wriggling against your skin. When you pull back, the glass is the same, and you'll be unharmed. But now you know it's there. Yesterday upon the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. When I came home last night at three, the man was waiting there for me. But when I looked around the hall, he wasn't there at all. Go away, go away, don't you come back any more. Go away, go away, and please don't slam the door. Last night I saw upon the stair a little man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. Coffins used to be built with holes in them, attached to six feet of copper tubing and a bell. The tubing would allow air for victims buried under the mistaken impression they were dead. However, in a certain small town, Harold, the local gravedigger, upon hearing a bell one night, went to go see if it was children pretending to be spirits. Sometimes it was also the wind. This time it wasn't either. A voice from below begged and pleaded to be unburied. "'Are you Sarah O'Bannon?' Harold asked. "'Yes,' the muffled voice asserted. "'You were born on September seventeenth, 1827?' "'Yes.' "'The gravestone here says you died on February twentieth, 1857.' "'No, I'm alive.' "'It was a mistake. Dig me up. Set me free.' Sorry about this, ma'am, Harold said, stepping on the bell to silence it and plugging up the copper tube with dirt. But this is August. Whatever you are down there, you sure as hell ain't alive no more. And you ain't coming up. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night for no reason, or heard some inexplicable noise in the middle of the night? Contrary to popular belief, it isn't a dream that you just don't remember, your imagination or the house settling. Don't get me wrong, it's not a ghost or a demon either. Those don't exist, however, as it may not be any of these things, it's something much worse. It's called the Watcher. The Watcher watches you, as the name implies, in the middle of the night. Don't worry, he won't harm you. Unless, of course, 
you see him. He doesn't like being seen, or even known about. If you ever wake up at night, or hear any creaks in your house at night, disregard it, go to sleep, and most importantly, do not talk about him. Don't even write about him. Put him out of your mind altogether. I must apologize. Because I wrote this. You know about him now. And he knows that you know. <laughs> He's coming for me. And you now. Sweet dreams. You were excited for this day. You should be, after all. You've been working hard. You deserve to have some fun. For tonight, you planned a movie night with a couple of old friends. Horror movies, as was customary since your younger days. You all watched with wide eyes and shaking hands, while cracking jokes and denying feeling any fear. Nobody wants to be the wimp, right? It was around 4 a.m. when the last movie stopped, and everybody headed home, leaving you all alone. You jumped at the creaks and moans, which seemed more noticeable after the night of ghosts and gore. Eventually, you decided to go to bed, but not before one last trip to the bathroom. The walk seemed long and daunting, as it always does after a night of scares. You kept looking back, checking for something lurking in the shadows. You knew you were acting ridiculous, but the feeling seemed to linger. Not even sleep would calm your mind. You tossed and turned and mumbled all throughout the night. There's no sense in denying it. I know you did it. I saw you.